Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then of course welcome to you guys too. My name is Janessa Elizabeth for those who don't already know and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be unboxing my new vlogging camera which is the Sony ZV E10 interchangeable lens. I am so ready for this guys, I cannot wait to show you guys. It's a small vlogging camera and I've heard a lot of great things about it. Apparently it's the best vlogging camera out there at the moment so I knew I just had to go grab it. Please excuse me, I am recovering from a sickness but I knew I had to do this vlog because I want to start using this camera and it's been sat around for the last few weeks and I have to just show you guys before I actually debut it in one of my vlogs you know. So currently my Sony RX100 hasn't been operating properly and in fact my iPhone has replaced it until I get this one mended which is what I'm using now. You guys are watching me from my iPhone 14 Pro which I got this a few weeks ago Prior to that one, I was using the iPhone 12 Pro. But that being said, I've done a lot of research on this new camera that I've got, the new Sony. And if you're also a Sony lover like myself, you'll know how great they function, which is why I'm here getting another one. Any opportunity to up my content levels and the quality, I'm there. So just by getting this camera is doing one of those. You know, I like to advance my vlogs and I feel like with this camera, I'll be able to do this. I'm going to Jamaica next month and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me and just have the best quality vlogs for you guys. It's so important to invest in yourself and that is why I invested in this camera. Um, I will invest in more technical bits over the next year. If you've been watching me since last summer, then you would know that I've had my eye on a drone. I know which one I want because I had some discussions with a few people last summer about the best one to get for like vloggers so I'm gonna invest in one of those so anyway here it is here is my Sony ZV-E10 and it is a beauty I have a few accessories to show you guys along with this camera too including the Sony Bluetooth tripod which I'm really excited to show you guys I'm actually really intrigued to see how that works with the camera so make sure you keep on watching for that and I also picked up a silicone camera case to go on top of this because I just think they just look so nice and just so sleek so I got one of those so this camera it comes in both both black and white but if you're smart in my opinion you will stick to getting the black like myself and overcome the clean aesthetics that's drawing you to grabbing the white one or to be fair you can just get different cases to pop on top of the camera so it really works out either way I'll start off with the tripod this is the shooting grip with wireless remote commander tripod from Sony so I've heard it's the best on the market so I'm quite excited to try that out later on in the video it looks quite small which is great let's go back to the camera I know you're all probably dying to see it like I said before I've had this camera a few weeks but between working and wanting to film this with natural lighting I just haven't been able to make it work so we're doing this together and we're doing this together okay okay so open in this box let's have a look of course you have the generic um, paperwork with the instructions inside this is the same paperwork that we usually throw to the side and end up losing and then later on we realize we need these instructions so I'm just gonna pop these on the side in a safe place I'm just gonna flip this open and of course here is the main character the amazing camera and lens if I can get it out I'll show you that very shortly so we'll start with the battery which I know as a vlogger you guys will also understand that batteries are literally the bane of our life they're always such a nightmare so that would be interesting so I'll probably order a couple more but we'll see as you can see it's the Sony brand and then we have the USB-C charger which obviously comes with the head to it and I don't know if you guys are like me but I actually prefer using these over charging up batteries separately in my opinion it's just less hassle when it comes to traveling so that's that and we have a microphone guys I'm so excited about that because my previous Sony didn't even have the option to have it added to the camera so yeah now with this I can at least enhance the volume quality of my vlog by the way my previous Sony I love I highly recommend and I will end up getting it fixed and still use on the side with this new one and then we have the Sony strap which honestly I probably won't get much use out of because my camera always stays secure in my bag always literally i need to have it by my side and then what's this maybe it's a travel adapter this is what i was saying about we keep the instructions because obviously the instructions are going to tell me what this is okay so yeah this is actually a power cord and it isn't actually for uk customers so i'll just pop that back in a box okay it's time to unbox this camera it's my new faves the best vlogging camera apparently and i have no doubt about it because sony have never let me down before yes oh my god gosh look at her oh my god she's so pretty she's actually so pretty look at her 
it's just solid it's super solid it almost gives professional camera but with vlogger aesthetics you know let me tell you one of the main reasons i got this camera was because of the interchangeable lens at the moment it has this lens on but the fact that i can switch it out game changer because i wasn't able to do that on my previous camera so this is all new to me it is super solid it's lightweight which i imagined it to be a lot heavier than what it is considering how much it's holding like with the lens the battery and just the body of it and honestly it's just perfectly so sleek and i feel like it's easily gonna fit into my smallest bag which is always a concern of mine so let's just see actually okay let's put it to the test oh god that was easy yeah it's very snug in there guys and it has room left over i want to turn it on i need to pop the battery in this and turn it on and just to see like the quality right so my only concern with this camera is not really the camera's concern it's more so with me it's just preference really and something that i need to get used to and it's the fact that the flip screen goes to the left with my previous camera it would flip up and honestly i prefer it like that i've got my fingerprints all over this and i think it's important because i use this screen function quite often like it's my main go-to when i'm vlogging and personally i feel like having it above for the viewer is more realistic but you know I think it's just simply down to preference, but I love that you can flip it and do all of this. Yeah, it's really handy. You can flip it and use it in that aspect, or you can just bring it round and yeah. I'll quickly show you guys my previous camera. It has been through hell and high waters with me. It's been on one too many travel vlogs and it's dropped a few times, but it still is doing a great job. The only thing that's wrong with it is the fact that um the lens isn't coming all the way out that's the only thing the function of the camera is perfect and i would really recommend this camera it's really durable with what i've been through with it trust me and this camera is almost two years old and it's still thriving almost but yeah i love that it was like really compact it's just perfect she's just having a few technical difficulties you know but i love this camera this is a silicone case that i've had i'm gonna pop it on for you guys but um i'm not sure how durable it would make the camera um from the quality of this because it simply is just silicone but i mainly got it because i like the fact that it just looks like really clean and sleek so i don't know i think i'll get another case to go around it for my previous sony i have one of these so i'll probably get one of those to go around the camera my new camera so i'll pop this on the camera really quickly i will be honest with you it's really fiddly and i feel like once i've popped this on i won't take it off again unless i'm just changing a case but as you can see it does slide on quite easily and it just fits perfectly onto the camera the only thing is it doesn't have a flap over this i would ideally like it to cover this part too even if it came to flip over here a little bit because obviously you want to be able to protect the screen but i think look i think i feel like it looks really nice on there it will protect it to an extent but not overall which is why i'll go and get another case to go on it especially for my travel vlogs the microphone literally just slides in up there it literally slides right in there you go and it pops in there which is great it just looks more and more professional every item that i add to it actually i was a bit concerned just now about popping the battery in here because i thought oh no i've got the silicone on there so how am i gonna pop the battery in but luckily i can just add it there because it has a little section where i can slot it in i am obsessed with this lens like i'm not a technical person but this is a whole game changer for me very exciting now i don't think the battery on this is fully charged so i won't be able to show you guys to the full extent of how this camera operates but i will do it in a separate vlog because i have to take this baby for a spin you know okay so now let's try this tripod on it i'm so intrigued whoa i can't with how small but sturdy this is oh you're pretty cool aren't you this looks like it's gonna do a whole lot it looks like it operates with like a small watch type battery inside there i don't think i'll need to go in there too often though to be fair um but, but this is what it looks like from the front obviously it has all the buttons here um oh it has the lock thing there i'm really intrigued to see how this operates if you loosen the side part and you push this button in i believe you can function it forwards and backwards to whatever position you prefer it and then obviously this bit is where you twist the camera on top, which is what I'm about to do. So the tripod also comes with this dust bag, which is cute too. God damn, every, every item I add to this, it's getting more and more professional. 
I'm a little bit scared to use you. This is what it looks like from my point of view. And honestly, I cannot live without a tripod. Any opportunity for me to take out my tripod, I'm doing it. It's just so convenient. Should I turn it on? It has the little on and off switch here rather than the button. My previous camera had a button. And I'll just flip this round for you guys. Lens case off. And this is what it's looking like. Can you guys see? Oh my God, it actually does have battery life. Wait, how does it look? How does it look, guys? The lighting is on me too. Oh my God, I'm so excited to play around with this. But I saw another unboxing video and the lady said that she searched in the best vlogging settings for this camera. So I'm gonna do that and check that out because I really love the fact that it has the blur feature on this camera and I really wanna be able to blur out the background of this because I always think it's really cool when I see other videos on YouTube and they've got the background blurred out and I'm like, damn, like I really wanna do that with my camera. And now I have the camera that does it. So I'm definitely gonna utilize that. Oh my God, I honestly love this camera. Whilst it's filming, it has the little red dot there too. So, you know, if it's filming, like sometimes when I film on my previous one, I, have, I would always have to turn it around just to double check that it's filming. Um, and when it is filming on this side, it has the red line around it, which is also a great indication, a great feature on there. Overall, I can't give you a review on how the camera is, but on first impressions, I am totally blown away by it. I cannot wait to start vlogging with this camera officially now. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I will try out this tripod. I haven't done it in this video because I mainly wanted to show you guys the camera, um, but I will definitely do it as a combination in my next vlog. I'm really excited to try that and take it for a spin. Um, I hope you guys liked everything that I showed you guys in this video and on first impressions, I would recommend this camera. It's very sleek, it's very lightweight, it's perfect. Um, it's not as bulky and it fits in my smallest bag. But yeah, overall, I'm impressed. Well done, Sony. So if you did like this video or if it was beneficial to you, make sure you give it a like, comment down below if you have any questions and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. But for now, that is it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.